News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny. Sunny again. How about that? First time in about five days. But it's sunny. Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And currently we have a sea of red out there. All the U.S. indices trading the downside. In fact, most of the things on my screen are trading to the downside. The Dow's up 108, three-tenths percent, half percent for the S&P, 18 points, seven-tenths for the NASDAQ 100, 77 points there, about nine-tenths for the Russell, 15 points there. Semis are off over 1%, as are the transports. You've got gold trained down 16 bucks. That's nine-tenths percent. Nearly 2% to the downside for silver. That's 42 pennies. Light speed crude is off uh, 2 bucks. That's 2.5%. Natural gas down 12%, down 59 cents. She's trading out at 4.52. The 30 year treasury is off 15 ticks, trading out at 124.28. What does all this mean out here? Let's go take a look at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini, which right now is testing the bottom of its daily profile. That's at 3841. It closed below that, and then price likely likely completes the measured move, which would take the S and P down to about or the ES Mini, I should say, down to the 3757, 3727 area. Now, if it's going to do that, move lower, you'd think that the spot volatilities would move higher. It hasn't. It's actually taken out yesterday's low, has not taken out yesterday's high. It's got to make you say, hmm, something to think about. Well, if we take a look at the NQ, she's trading with inside its October 13th swing point, but it has completed its measured move of that consolidation breakdown. And you'll see when we get to the uh, charts during the Trader's Edge show, today is going to become bar number nine of a TD9 count inside the NQ. That says it should form a bottom between today and tomorrow. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, well, it's tested and rejected the bottom of its daily profile at the 103.64 level. If markets are going to move higher, presumably the dollar index would close below the bottom of that profile. Right now, you just got a good old-fashioned consolidation, and Goldilocks has resistance at the top of its weekly profile. That's at 1836. But even though it's pulling back, it's just been a sideways move for a couple of weeks. Silver, really the same thing out there. Just a sideways move, but it is back inside its profile. I would anticipate that it would find support. That's silver at 2351. Light sweet crude, what do we have out there? Well, it did complete a one to one A to B equals CD to the upside. Depending on today's close out there, you could get a three river evening star, and that would suggest a further retracement. Natural gas, A to B equals CD to the downside. $3.80 is its next price target. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. And we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.